Interesting developments here into the weather office as we are going to be expecting more snow into the UP as this next disturbance is starting to work its way northward. You can see just all rain for the time being, but there is enough cool air in place and there will be enough cool air in place as we head into the overnight and the moisture will start to ease its way back farther to the west. So we were kind of looking at that yesterday, but it looks to be like it will happen and we will be seeing snow showers as we head into tomorrow and for Friday. But as we take a look at our current conditions, we are at 52, mostly cloudy skies. The winds, they are up there at 14 miles per hour coming from the northeast. And as we take a look at our temperatures right at this time, we are in the lower 50s in Marquette on off towards the west temperatures in the upper 40s in Ontonagon. 50s as you go farther south into Crystal Falls and in Ironwood, 40s up into Houghton. And as we head a little farther off towards the east, well, we are cool there as well. 49 degrees in Manistique, 52 in Ishpeming, and 54 down in Escanaba. Our winds coming from the northwest, still pretty gusty at here in Houghton at least at 20 miles per hour. 12 down into Iron Mountain while sitting at 13 in Escanaba. And temperatures across the rest of the state, they are below average in those 60s and 50s instead of those 70s and 80s like we saw earlier this week. But things are going to be changing and becoming even cooler as we'll be expecting this next disturbance to push its way in and start to drag in some of that cooler air from Canada. Overcast for tonight, moisture doesn't get in until tomorrow. We'll see more of the snow showers develop after the noon hours. And we'll be looking for some periods of just moderate snow. Not going to be expecting that much accumulations until tomorrow. Tomorrow night or to, until tomorrow night, that is when we'll see the best chance of accumulations. Not going to be a lot, only expecting a round of inch, but it's been a very long winter. And now it's becoming a little more overbearing as we have seen so much snow over the course of the winter and cold air. But we have seen temperatures below average for the day today. It will continue to be below average for tomorrow. And as this area of low pressure does start to pull northward, it'll throw some of that moisture back into the UP. And we will see snow showers develop by later tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. And as we take a look at future casts, how things remain cloudy for most of the overnight. As you go farther west towards Ontonagon and Ironwood, not going to be seeing the snow as most of the moisture should be in central and eastern portions of the UP. Snow showers develop after the noon hour, and we will continue to see light snow as we head into Thursday night and for Friday before all of this starts to push northward. And that's not going to get rid of the clouds as we'll see clouds and rain chances even as we head into the weekend. Tonight, 32 degrees, cloudy and chilly. North winds not too breezy for the night, only between 5 to 10 miles per hour. But tomorrow they really pick up 15 to 25 miles per hour. And guess what is back? The snow. Highs will be in the 50s and the 40s, 45 degrees in Laws, 53 in Crystal Falls while sitting at 50 in Marquette. These will be early highs. Probably temperatures just after the midnight hour because we will be expecting most of the temperatures during the afternoons to be right around the upper 30s and the lower 40s. And as we take a look at our seven day forecast, snow chances continue on for Friday, upper 40s for highs. Temperatures on Saturday back above freezing, so we will be expecting rain, a very small chance of rain at 20%. Sunday will finally clear out with high pressure taking back control, and our temperatures will rebound as we head into next week as we'll be back in the middle 60s.